This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. What? You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Alan Wake. In the last episode, which was quite a while ago, we finished with Barry getting a phone call from Rose, the girl that's working in the diner, saying like she has the missing pages from the manuscript or something like that. And uh, Barry's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll come again and meet you. But she was controlled by a mysterious figure in the background. So let's continue from there. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer! You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Episode 3, Ransom Baby! How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging I thought he was going around. over by himself. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Wow, Let's okay. Make this quick, huh? Let's go and get the pages. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Uh, I I'm want. Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. Oh, that that's Rose, cool. She's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al. I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. Ah, well. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Wow. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. Okay. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Oh, wow. Okay, that boat is like, needs some repairs. How did that get there? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. Wow. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. That's similar to what anyway, happened to us. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay, that's the house. Is that the house? <laughs> I would be like, Randolph, is that the house? Okay, I'm gonna well, go Mr. ahead, Randolph. This here's Rose's trailer. <laughs> you mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Ah, he's very business, isn't he? Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? This is weird. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Do you not think she's weird? I mean, would you not stand at the door and go like, You're weird. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. No. Barry. 
What? Oh no. Oh, we walked right into that trap. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. In my Barbara's skin. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. This is awesome. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Okay. Turn the light on. <gasps> okay, this is weird. Back to work, boy. Ah! Whoa! I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Okay, this is really messed up. She like. promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About okay. Those took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What Are you okay, Rose? Hey. Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Okay, how are we gonna get Milk Barry in the car? Come on. We will we'll just walk out and we'll trigger like the sequence. To today's specials? I think Thank so. You. Let's see. A nice day. Oh, My there's gun a page. and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Oh, there's your man. Hey, Randolph! Oh, you're gonna get it now. Why? What happened? <laughs> God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. What? You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. That can't be right. What? Why would they attack me like that? They wouldn't shoot an unarmed man? What the hell? What are... I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! What do I they think I did? Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Take it easy! Okay, we're gonna have to leg it, guys. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Okay, they're not coming really after me that fast, so it's okay. We have a little bit of time. I have to get used to the viewing perspective again because it's like one of those weird first persons. Where you're actually over his shoulder, very much so. <laughs> okay, let's stay under the bridge for a second. There he goes! Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, man, keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh, great. The light. Oh, damn. Okay, they're really. Re ah! Balls, quick. Okay, let's stay here where, where, they can't, where the light can't reach us, and then we're gonna run for it. Let's go. Okay, next one. Okay, where do we go now? Up here? I hope we're not gonna see any of those creatures now because I have no flashlight on me, nothing. What do they think I did? They said like you, what you did to her or something. I don't understand that. Do they think I heard Rose or something? Oh, there's a manuscript. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Here we go. Always oh, time to read a manuscript. Actually, let's read the manuscripts. We picked up Randolph Call Randolph Calls the Police. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. 
It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Okay, let's see. The dark presence decades, sleeps. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay, it's getting all creepy now again and we have no flashlight. Ah, come on. Whoa! Hello? There's nobody in the car. Okay, there's nobody in the car, which is good. We have to go this way, I think. Okay, we don't, don't want to... Oh, there's the cops. Oh, there's something coming. I have to run again. Over here. Ah, balls. Oh! What the hell? What do they see? I can't see! Wow! They made that so well. Like, they did that so well that you can't really see what's going on. I want to look over the ridge, but I can't see. Oh man, something is deaf. Oh, something this is horror taking was care. everywhere I went, cops. circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. This is insane. I love it. Oh, helicopters, helicopters. Where's the helicopter? Ah, boss. They don't see me. They're not seeing me. Come on, just stay here, stay here. Wait until the helicopter is gonna move on. Go to the next drop. Oh! Oh, the birds! There were birds! Look at the birds! They're going after the helicopter! What the hell? No! That is amazing! I'm like, oh, like I can see something. Is it crashing? Wow! It, oh my lord. These evil birds. <laughs> okay, I think we're okay now. Okay, somebody definitely wanted me to escape, which is the old lady, I suppose. Oh, excuse me. Coffee burps. Somebody's bed. Oh, radio. Uh, this is James Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they would Hey, what you do? Come on! Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh... I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. So nobody has a trace of the you FBI agent. Here quickly, the uh, Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. <coughs> No manuscript here, no? Okay. I'm only doing a quick scan. I'm not really gonna wait forever. Okay, down here. Nope. Down here. There we go. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Okay. <laughs> a 
Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. I have no light. It's okay, it's okay. find something to do with light I suppose oh look at that baby nice we're gonna pick this up first and snoop around here before we do that let's have a little snoop to snoop oh I have a feeling this won't work anyway I just seen the cable here there was no power yeah. to the searchlight I was going to snoop anyway first instead for manuscripts and stuff like that because you guys were saying last time that you actually want me to read the manuscripts because I said I won't read them because they kind of give away a little bit of the story. But you guys were saying it's kind of nice because they're look ahead in a way in someone else's perspective. So it's not really yourself. Oh, how does that work again? Okay. Nice. I love this. It's easy enough, you know, only just a little bit of a challenge. Nothing too major. There we go. Okay, nothing here. Let's go and turn the light on. Let's point the light over. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Oh, man. Okay, let's do this. Kick it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you fix things, man. It's a man's world. If it doesn't work, hit it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's quickly go. Quick, 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 quick. Control the searchlight. There we go. Nice. Boost. Bam! Right in the face. Awesome. And just about in time. So it's really weird. The darkness is kind of helping me, but at the same time... When I'm, I suppose, deviating from the path, it's like, not my friend at all. Well, it wants to be dead either way, I think. I'm still confused as to what my story is, what my punishment is, or what my... I don't know, he seems to be being punished for something, like... Or if it's all in his head, maybe, and he wakes up and it was all a dream, that would be so... So crap. Okay, there's a light here. Oh, nice! Pick up the flashlight, yes, baby! We finally have a flashlight, awesome! Yeah, we're not going to boost it. we just take our time because I want to keep my batteries for a while. There you go. Nice. Okay. Whew. Oh, there's a cop car. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. Nice. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Oh, yeah. Well, I better not answer because they think I did all that anyway. Let's go down. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. This is creepy as balls, man. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use one of my flashbangs. Oh, 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 crap. How do I use them? Balls. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot, balls. <laughs> I haven't used the controls in a while, okay? I'm sorry. And then he was out of breath like that. Yes! Ah, balls. There we go. Let's quickly go for the light. Nice. They're a bit hard to time, but uh, hey ho. There's a page. Schweps. Oh, balls. Okay, let's throw it. Okay, let's go. He's just a person now, I think. I said, I know it still needs me to use the flashbangs. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so it's no point. I was just playing around. There's no point in um, trying to waste batteries on them. So the flashbangs is the only way. Trial and error. Trial and error, guys. 
Okay. Let's throw the flashbang in front of us. Come on. There you go. That's how you deal with it. I'm going the wrong way. Balls. Okay. Let's go. Can't believe I went the wrong way. Okay, there's a light up ahead. Just about, just about. Oh, there was a flashbang. Nice flashbangs. Is there a gun? No. Okay, let's get over it. Okay, where are they coming from? There. I have a few flashbangs, I think. Ah, balls. Oh, we're a bit of a stronger man, are we? We needed two flashbangs. Couldn't just be like the others, one for each person. No, no, no. We had to have two, don't we? Okay, let's see if that's open. Nice. Oh, yes. That was good. I like that. <laughs> I was a bit of a dama as I was sometimes, but I that's hope okay. I could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, there he is. Can we go and snoop around? Hello. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Okay, he's very busy. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from Dan me. Brown. Don't run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Dude, what the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What is wrong with him? What the hell? Oh, that wasn't good. Why does what is this guy's problem with us? Okay, he's calling me up so many cliffs it was ridiculous. <laughs> That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. We got the nightingale in the radio station. The broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. What's his problem? Did I miss something? Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Oh, please tell me that we don't have... Um, how many flashbangs? We only have three flashbangs left, which is odd because I, I swear we had more. Okay, if we hurry up, I think we can get the generator on. That was really quick going off. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Pick up the flip. Pick it up. Genie, Mac, take your time, dude. No, 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 no. I'm in the light. I'm in the light. I'm in the light. Okay? So go away. There's nothing you can do to me in the light. And I have a gun now. Ah! Which I hopefully don't have to use. Come on, batteries, go back up. Nice. Is that a light? No. Is there anything to turn the lights on? Oh, shotgun. Ah, balls. OK, 
Okay, come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, whoever is healed already or is it? Okay. Yep. You're vulnerable now, son of a bitch. There we go. Yes! There was no sensible reason for the power company workloads to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Come on, you can do it. Shit. Come on. Come on, shoot him! Damn it! Reload the gun! Just not one bullet at a time, would you just reload the stupid gun, man? There we go. Holy balls. I forgot that every time you click reload, if you shoot too fast. Oh, the darkness controls the Taken. Well, yeah, that's the idea, I suppose. I'm terrible at this because I don't like his revolver. It's like you reload, but it does like one bullet at a time. And if you shoot too early, he stops reloading and uses that bullet. And then you have to wait. Oh, you have to reload again. Oh, but I, I well, I expected to die, to be honest. So I'm actually glad that we survived this. I don't even know what he said now. He said something about that it was made like for him or something. Ah, balls, what is going on? What is going on? I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. Sorry for the sudden cut, it has to be done. I record the whole thing in one go. Intros, outros are gonna be added afterwards. I hope you guys don't mind and still enjoy the episodes. If you did enjoy it, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.